guys, welcome back to a new video on the One Star channel where we talk about everything Fortnite creator related. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make roads just like this in Creative 2.0 so you don't have to manually place props for a road, which is going to be really cool. This is a really simple thing to do and I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's get right into it. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is load up a blank world, just any world, doesn't really matter. You're going to want to go up to here, and you're going to click on your landscaping mode. Landscape. And then you're going to see this little thing in the middle. Uh, bring this up by clicking your W key. You can move it um, on the ax axes. And then if you click R, you can expand it from the middle. So expand that plot a land. This is just inserting our graph. And then you click, click this blue create button, and then it will create your land. Boom. There we go. We have our land. Next thing, once you're in here, let's start creating our rows. So the first thing you're going to do is go to this this layers over here. I'll say layer. Uh, you're going to want to right click on this layers button. And you're going to want to click the create button right here. You click create. And then that will create another a new layer. You're going to want to rename that layer to, let's say, roads. Because we're making roads. So I'm going to say roads. And we're going to make sure that, ro that road button is selected right here. So it says roads. And you're going to want to come over up here to your manage tab right here manage and then you're going to want to go over to splines right here after that you're going to want to come down to here and you're going to also want to right click on this again click reserve for spline click that button yes and there you go it's reserved for your spline so now you can start your road so basically what a spline is if you hold down control it's out of the way a little bit if you hold down control and click it'll do that and then you hold down click and do it again it'll make this little thing just like this so let me do it again right here click It'll create that. Click, and it'll create the other. Boom. That's a road already, right? So, basically, you're going to want to do that into any pattern you want. So, you can be like, oh, let me make a whole racetrack road thing. You can go like this. Pretty simple. Click wherever you want your road. And you're going to want to come to the last one, and you're going to want to connect that. So, like, say that's a, like, racetrack. That's a road. Another thing you could do is you can come up to these and adjust all these manually. So, also, this will um adjust with the ground so if i pull this up the ground will adapt to the road just like that and if say i come over here and i'm gonna do one right here just like that it looks sick and then right here cool and then you can adjust every single part of the road how you want it boom just like so and yeah your road should come out pretty nice uh over here and move this over a little so you can just adjust your road however you would like i i like it like this really nice so the next thing uh if you also if you don't want your road to do this say you want to make like let me show you something say you want to make a road that goes like this you will place one place another one it goes up right and you want to go over like this and say you want another road going under this road what you're going to want to do then is you're going to want to see see how when i place one right here and that goes through here it'll automatically do that but it, uh, it might look funky and you can't delete this little area right you can't this little thing so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to click on this road right here boom boom you're gonna want to click on the road and then you're going to want to go to the side details menu right here landscape deformation you're gonna want to click right here and you're gonna there's raise terrain and lower terrain if you take the boxes it'll raise the terrain the road if you untick these two boxes it will not so if i do this say i did that boom and then i untick these two boxes as you can see boom it has removed everything underneath it so this is for the race terrain so if you turn the race terrain on it'll put the terrain underneath it but if you put the lower terrain on and you bring this all the way down it'll lower the terrain into the into your earth like this for now so anyways that's how the raising and lowering of the terrain work so next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to come over here um, this is our original road so right now if you look at it um it doesn't really look like a road it just looks like a green line uh, yeah it looks like a green line so if it looks like this you're gonna want to real quick you're gonna want to click on it and then you're gonna want to come up here to the top left and you're gonna click on segments this will highlight every single segment in this road. After that, you're going to want to come over here to this area, and you're going to find spline mesh. And once you're here, you're going to click this add button. You're going to add an element. So when you add this element, it is basically adding an element to this line. So say you put, say you went in here, 
if and if I open the index though. Here's our mesh. So if you come over here, you could type in any ash asset and you can use like all these different things in here. We want what we want is a road. So you just type in road and you're gonna use road. Road, road, road. We're gonna use road straight right here. And boom, that'll make our road just like that. So we got a road. Perfect. It looks beautiful. Uh yeah, there's one road. You can also um mess mess around with these. Make sure every time you click on the road, you're clicking the segment button and then changing it. Otherwise, it'll just change that little area. So if I type in road again, it can go let's, right here. Flat trans. This is another road. You can pick out whatever road you would like. You can make a little racing game. And that's it. So basically, if I add another spline mesh, so say I click this add element button, right? It can add another index. So say you want to add something else onto your road you can add let's see i'm gonna type in some letters let's put in uh let's put in this first thing right here the color calibrator so if i click that and click clear x that out see it'll place it right on your line so whatever you put in here it'll place on your line just clear that so say you want to add like different things like on your road or next to your road you can pick the item here the mesh and then you can adjust the center right here and scale to width so say if i look at this road right now right i can adjust the center of the road by going like by going like moving it like add uh you can add the x and y so if i make the value like five it'll move it over in the x and y direction and this will adjust the center of the road back to zero so yeah so say I want to scale the width. So this is our scale, right? This is our X, Y, Z, uh, Z direct. So if I click on this thing and then I go here, I can adjust the X, sick. I can adjust this. Let's do like eight. So eight is the Y. So that'll make it really like big like that. Like that's, so let's make it like how, whatever you want. You can adjust your road, make it bigger in the X, Y and directions, however you like it. Um, and yeah, that's how you can adjust the center. There's all these different things. Make sure you look through everything and you'll probably find what you're looking for. So basically, you have your adjusting the center of the road you have your uh race terrain lower terrain you have all your settings in here for this for the spline it's just a segment that you can like fill in with whatever mesh you want so if i put this boom crosswalk you can make a crosswalk just like that uh so you're gonna want to uh, click this thing, boom, and say I want a crosswalk, right? There's crosswalks, boom, it's that easy. You can literally add this to your road. So say I wanted a, let's say right here, I want like a crosswalk. So I'm gonna select the segment and I'm going to add, look at the array. We're gonna go to this other array, not the first one, the second one we made. And we're gonna click here, we're gonna go to crosswalk, we're gonna click on it, and that should add a crosswalk segment. Crosswalk, it'll add a crosswalk every new area. But there's a lot of that messing around you could do with this. Um, so have fun. That's basically how you make your basic road in Fortnite Creative 2.0. And if you want, you can always add your land in and around it. And one more thing is if you see that it's red, whenever you go and place your land. If you see that it's red like this, you're gonna want to click on your layer one, which is your which is your land. So say you're on sculpt, right? Say you're you're clicked on roads and then you go to sculpt and oh I can't place any mountains and it gives you this air. Then you're gonna want to come over here, click on layer one, and now you're able to build up your mountain. You can make I made a whole racing course, but the file got corrupted, but it's okay. So if this did help you out, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. If you want to support me even further, you can use code PEEPER1235 in the Fortnite item shop. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll try to I answer all my comments, as many as I could possibly do. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. My sister out.